Shalom. Barakat Yahweh. Barakat Yahweh Shai. Barakat Yahweh. Barakat Yahweh Shai. Barakat Yahweh. Barakat Yahweh Shai. Call Allah Yim La Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. It's the brother Isaiah with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit of the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mahashem Rechah Kodash. Lord, what the lesson is that defined? And what I said was bless you, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and bless you, Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Son of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. And uh, I just want to do a quick lesson, okay? <clears throat> Going into the flesh, man, okay? The flesh. And maybe this will be a various topics, you know, because I did just get through listening to a lesson uh, or listening to a response that a brother put in the chat. But the first thing I want to speak about is the flesh, all right, and how it's inherently wicked. Okay, the flesh is inherently wicked, all right? <clears throat> Which I may do apostles to heart style because I just that's that's eventually what I want to talk about. But you know, I'm compelled through the spirit to actually speak about the awakening that's going to occur. Okay, of the rest of the, uh, the 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 rest of the Hebrew Israelites, man, the Northern Kingdom, the Northern Kingdom is going to be awakened in these times, man. All right, the Scripture said that he he was going to raise up the tents of Judah first. Okay, and we have okay a lot of Judites. That have already been awakening and that have been in the ministry doing, you know, doing this work. Okay, I believe through the spirit that uh, Elder Menachem Zakbai is a Judite. Okay, he has a very lion-like spirit. Okay, he's definitely Southern Kingdom in my opinion. All right, and uh, I believe Elder Ariyala here, you know, is also a, um, a, a Southern Kingdom, but you know, the brother believes he's a uh, he's a Reubenite. So you know, it's neither here nor there, but. The point is, you know, there's a great multitude of Southern Kingdom or Northern Kingdom uh, Israelites that have to be awakened in these times. Because you got to remember, there's 10 tribes in the Northern Kingdom and there's, okay, three tribes in the Southern Kingdom. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, okay, are the three tribes in the Southern Kingdom. And then you got the rest of the, the tribes, okay, uh, in the northern kingdom, okay. So, whenever and you have some, you know, of the northern kingdom already out here, you know, preaching his word. You know, I, I'm a Gadite myself, so you know, never. But nevertheless, you know, a mass influx of believers is going to come. Okay, the scriptures talk about how you know he hired. You know, gives an analogy of, of different men being hired for for a penny. Okay, for for all for a penny. All right, and um, there were some men who were hired at the last hour, the, the, the 11th hour, okay, the ninth hour, whatever the case, hour, you know, later in the day, so to speak, meaning later or closer towards the um, closer towards the time for this truth to be darkened, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So let me, you know, let me kind of expound on that. All right, there will come a time where the truth will not be available on a wide scale. All right, the scriptures tell us that there will come a famine, not of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hearing the words of the Lord, okay? So there's going to become a famine of the word, all right? You maybe you can even type that in into a Google search, famine of the word, KJV, and see what comes up. All right, so there's not, there's not going to be a, 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 a hunger for bread nor a thirst for water. Okay, which that will happen as well. All right, but the most important thing is that you won't be able to find this truth on the streets anymore. All right. So that that's the analogy given there when it talks about the hours of the day, the eleventh hour, the twelfth hour, you know, the ninth hour. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's going into the different hours of the day. So like you trying to exit right here. There we go. It's a weekend, so the roads is kind of crazy. But nevertheless, all right. So we got to be mindful or be, be remembering of that, okay? There's going to be a mass awakening, all right? And, and uh, the Lord's facilitating it by having a lot of these individuals come out and speak about the truth, okay? 
lot of these individuals coming out speaking out about the truth. You know, uh, you got Ye, Yeezy, and you also got, um, you know, Kyrie Irving just got blasted, you know, for quote-unquote anti-Semitic uh, tweets or, you know, whatever, man. So, like, I don't even know if that word's a buzzword. Whatever, man. So, I just want to start off by going into that, okay? Now, back to the, the lesson as I wanted to go into it, all right? The flesh is inherently wicked. Okay, and this is something that's presented in the scriptures. All right, the flesh is inherently wicked. You cannot cleanse the flesh, okay, from sin. It's impossible to completely stop doing sin, okay? But, okay, there are certain sins you can leave off from, and certain sins you have to leave off from while you're in this ministry, okay? Certain sins you are in control of through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shemiah Washah. Such as uh, the sin of smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, smoking anything. Okay? Through the power of your by Shemiah Washah, you can quit smoking. Right? You know, that's a whole process you have to go into. Uh, picking up the blunt, rolling it, you know, doing all these different things. Alright? Uh, you, you, can, you can abstain from that. Okay? That's not pleasing to the Lord. Also, uh, you know, eating pork and, and, and crab and lobster and shrimp and all these different quote unquote seafood items, which are not actually food, okay? Just because you see it, don't mean it's food, all right? But that's how that's the, that's the mindset you get. And you just know when a motherfucker says, I love seafood, that they ain't talking about fish. You know when the niggas say that, they're not talking about fish, dog. Not in America, Babylon the Great, they're talking about scallops, they're talking about clams, lobsters, crabs, all the other bullshit. In the ocean. That's what these niggas is referring to. Okay? And these things, you can control that. You ain't got to put that on your plate. Alright? But then there are other sins that you know you can't control, such as mental sins. Okay? You have mental sins. You have thoughts. Uh, you might see a woman. Alright? And in this society, you know, women uh, uh, dress a certain way or, you know, even, even, even outside of, you know, even outside of that, there's certain things that a woman can't hide you know what I'm saying? Depending on their proportions. If a woman has a large chest, okay, and she's got on certain clothes, you know, she can't always hide the fact that her chest is large. So, you know, now, you you, know, you can get bigger clothes, you know, and, and uh, you know, that can kind of uh, diminish it, all right? You don't have to wear tight-ass clothes, you know, but, you know, in this society, many women are not going to do that. They're going to wear tight shit, and, uh, and ultimately, you're going to see it. So here it is, you being a man, you see a woman, you know, and, and you know, the scriptures tell you not to, to uh, gaze intently upon a woman, okay? The, 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 the King James Version says, stare, stare not at a maid, lest she be taken with the things that be secret within her, okay? <laughs> but, the script, but then another uh, translation says, look not intently upon a woman, all right? Because when you, when you keep looking at a woman, eventually you're going to see something. The apostles, uh, 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 <laughs> beloved apostles, uh, starting with Elder Apostle Tahar and uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, I believe they was having a conversation. They uh, they was uh, I think it was their last camp. They was they talked about that jiggle, that wiggle. Okay, if you look long enough at a woman, you'll find something that will that could arouse you to the act of wanting to have sex because you're a man. Okay, and the Lord created a woman's body to arouse a man, so that for the act of procreation. So if you look long enough, you'll find something that you'll like. That's why you have the terms of a woman being beautiful. <clears throat> and then you have it where men say, well, she's she's smashable. She's uh, doable. You know, and, and, you know, I'm trying to keep it PG. Okay. She's, uh, you know, poppable. Let's say that, poppable. <laughs> Which that probably ain't the best word to use. But anyway, nevertheless, man. Okay. So, you, you know, you have these terminologies because... You know, men are set up to be attracted to women, okay? But, and so, you know, going into what I was saying, you can't always control that initial reaction that you might have, you know, when you see a beautiful woman. But you can control certain things, as I mentioned before. You, you, you can control uh, not going and committing adultery with that woman, okay? Now, ultimately, when I say you can control it, we know that uh, it's up to you how about you shot what you do, all right? But... You can resist the devil, okay, and he can flee from you, okay? 
you can say, no, this is not right. I don't want to do this. And then, you know, you can pray to the Lord that he keeps you from doing that sin, you know, and then boom, you see? So that's not an excuse. Oh, you, you know, it's like, it's like people have this idea, you know, that Yahweh Shai came and died, okay, for, for, uh, for the sins of the nation of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, so that you can just continue to live in wickedness. Okay, but it's it's completely contradictory to the things that even Christians agree upon. Okay, you literally have a bracelet out there that Christians wear called WWJD, which it should be WWYD. Okay, what would your house do? But they say, what would Jesus do? Right now, if we understand the story of your house, I would not say it's going to be a various topics at this point, but if we understand the, 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 the walk of who the world England called Jesus Christ. He did not sin. Okay, he didn't sin. So like get this damn thing falling down. So considering that he didn't sin in order for him to be the perfect sacrifice, all right, and the scriptures tell you that if you want to be his disciple, you have to pick up your own cross. So if we know that he didn't sin, why then do people think that the Messiah died to give you license to sin? This is literally how it seems, that people think that Yahweh shot died Hey guys, that's actually my spot right there. Are you guys going to see Adam? Yeah. Oh, they're gonna move? Oh, it's an Uber, okay. Thank you. You guys having a party or something? Yeah, somebody is. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a good night. It's a lot, kid. I need about to take my spot. Go, go here, bro. Go. Got my spot. Neighbors, man. <clears throat> Gotta be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, man. I wasn't gonna be mad at him. I just, you know, cordially have to ask him if, yeah, he, if you guys get this move, you know, I appreciate it. <laughs> gotta be, uh, gotta be slick with these devils, man. So, like it. Park right up here. Active tonight because it's the weekend. Cars every fucking where, man. All right. Niggas is having a damn Halloween party, man. We gotta get the fuck up out of here. Excuse my language, man. Anyway, moving on with the lesson. All right. The scriptures say that the heart. It's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You know? In your heart, which that word heart goes into your mind. Well, I came just in time, boy. Niggas is trying to... Niggas is sco scoping my spot. Damn. He must about to have a real big-ass party, man. All right? The heart is desperately wicked. Okay? And deceitful above all things. Who can know it? All right, you 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 you'd be surprised, man. The things that you think in your mind, okay. The things you have to fight against. You know, Paul speak about the war in his members, okay. So there's a war inside of yourself. You know, uh, there's a rock and roll song. Uh, <laughs> please, God, I think it's called "Please Tell Me Why." I don't know, but he says uh, he he talks about how he is his own worst enemy. I am my own worst enemy, you know, and we are, man, we're our own worst enemies, man, you know, our flesh is constantly teetering on the bullshit, okay, but the scripture tell you that it will be like this, you know, uh, that you will be walking a narrow path with a fire on the one side and a deep water on the other side, okay, so that's what you, that's what you're walking, okay, on a daily basis. So, you know, we have to continue to stay in prayer and ask the Lord to keep us from sin, to keep us from, you know, being bugged out like the rest of this world, man, because this world is bugged out. All right. And it ain't, you know, it ain't going to always be like that every day, but we're constantly surrounded by wickedness. You know, the brother posted in the chat about Enoch, you know, it said that this testimony had Enoch that he pleased the Lord. And so Yahweh Shimei Oshai took Enoch from this world so that he wasn't corrupted, 
okay, by this world, all right? The scriptures say that the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces him, okay? This is, you know, there's, there's some aspect of wickedness here in America, Babylon the Great, which plagues you or which, uh, what, what, how can I word it better than plague you, um, which tempts you in your flesh, okay? Whatever it is, whatever that is for you, okay? It exists here in America, Babylon Great, okay? So, you know, you just have to be mindful of your own flesh, okay? Be aware, okay? And uh, Paul even said what, you know, in that same uh, chapter where he spoke about the war and his members, okay? Because he, it's a pretty, he talks about it almost through that whole chapter. He says, so with the mind serve I, Yahweh Bashimi I was shy, and in the flesh, he, you know, he said he served sin. Okay, well, that doesn't mean he just goes around just sinning all willy-nilly. But what that does mean is, is that he said, I know that in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. O wretched man that I am, who will save me from this body of death? Okay, so what that means is ultimately you can't, <laughs> you know, you're not going to stop the flesh from, uh, doing certain things, okay? But, but, you know, it's about that good conscience towards you, how about me, I was shy. And when you do fuck up, correcting yourself and saying, look, I need to quit doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, uh, you know, I need, I need help, Lord, you know. You know, whatever that looks like for you, okay? Talking to you, how about you, me, I was shy, about helping you, okay? And praying, you know, and just... Fast and whatever else you got to do, okay? But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up in here. I, you know, I don't want to be sitting out here too long. These folks is get congregating to come do their wickedness, man. Have their little uh, Halloween shindig or whatever the hell they do. Yeah, they got masks on and shit. I'm going to let these little Edomites, you know, have their little... Uh, I don't even know the name of the movie. We're going to let them have their little get-together with their Michael Myers masks and they whatever the hell they doing and you know hey brothers you know stay inside on these wicked holidays man ain't no point being out in the streets if you ain't gotta be man you know if you ain't gotta be you know stay in the crib man you know a lot of motherfuckers is gonna be doing a lot of wickedness you know under the cover of these masks that they gonna have on so just be mindful of that you know you uh you, you of course you know you women and your children as well man if you you know, do the best you can, man. Things is getting increasingly wicked, okay, and continuing to appease, uh, you know, our children's desires if we have children to want to go out and trick or treat and all that other stuff. It'll come a point in time when it's just not going to be wise at all to do those things, man. Well, the kids want to get candy. I'm going to take them out. Do so at your own risk, okay? Do so at your own risk. But I, I, I suggest you don't do it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Call Halal Yulag, Yahweh Bashim Yabashai, by Hashem Rakan HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for the elect. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa Baba Ball, Shalom.